So for this portion, we're going to be talking about how we actually weigh a horse. We have Dreamer with us, and you can weigh a horse in several different ways. Horse scales do exist, typically in veterinary hospitals. Um, we don't have a horse scale here. They are quite large, as you can imagine. They're, they're, they're flat on the ground, and the horse walks right on top of it, um, so they have to be pretty big. Um, we use either a formula, a mathematical equation, or a weight tape that is calibrated in pounds um, using a very similar formula. So we, we want to weigh our horses, and we talked a little bit about this last time, but we want to weigh our horses seasonally. I know we also talked about this for deworming too. Um, we want to track their weight throughout the seasons, make sure they're not losing too much, gaining too much. We want to have an accurate weight on them for giving them medicines, um, dewormer, and just monitoring their overall health and well-being. I know we just talked about um, the body scoring system too, and what the best thing to do is actually record their weights and seasonally, but also take a side picture of the horse throughout the year several times, because sometimes it's a little hard to remember or notice slight changes in your horse's weight. So I'm going to show you all the formula that you can use to weigh a horse. And when we are weighing the horse, the first thing we do is we wrap the tape around the heart girth. And the heart girth is pretty much right where you put the girth when you're putting the saddle on. And the tape is going to go all the way around. And we measure, for the formula, we measure in inches. So what is it? 74? 74 inches around for his heart girth. So for the formula, and you will get a copy of this as well, we're going to multiply the heart girth times the heart girth again. So 74 times 74 is 5,476, we're going to press equals for that, then we want to multiply it by their body length. And for their body length, we put the tape at the point of the shoulder, you can kind of feel right where their shoulder comes out, all the way back to, there's a kind of a crease right down there, right down their hind quarters. What is that measurement, Molly? 64 and a half. Okay, so we had 5,476, we multiply that by 64 and a half, and we get 353,202 pounds, not pounds. We obviously have another step after this. Then we have to divide it by 330. So this part actually varies depending on if you have an adult horse, a yearling, a weanling, um, for example, if you have a yearling, you do the same beginning part of the formula, but you divide it by 301 instead of 330. And if you have a weanling, um, which is a, a newborn, then you divide it by 280. So when we divide this by 330, we get 1,070 pounds, which sounds about right for Dreamer. He's a thoroughbred. Um, he's one of our larger horses. Um, keep in mind that when you get draft horses into the mix and you're weighing drafts or heavier breeds, you can get 2,000, 2,500, or even 3,000 pounds sometimes. So that is the formula. It's a little bit more lengthy way of doing it. Some say that it's a little bit more accurate. What we typically do is use a weight tape here. And the weight tape, you can kind of zoom in. The numbers are very small but it's calibrated in pounds and the formula is sort of, the work is sort of already done for us. So we take and we use the weight tape around the same area that we measured in inches with a heart girth and we're going to see if we get a similar number. About 1,020. 1,020. Yeah, maybe you can show how it, how it meets. So you have to round up you a little bit. You want it to bit. be snug, but not tight against their skin. Good. So, and that's exactly what I expected. It does vary 30, 40, 
40 pounds in accuracy. Um, and like I said, some people say that the formula is more accurate because you're taking also into account um, the length of the horse. So, but 30 pounds isn't like for a human, for a horse, 30 pounds isn't that much. A um, couple of things quickly to keep in mind when you're weighing the horse. You want to make sure they're on flat ground, standing evenly, which he, he was, especially in the front. The front is where you really want them standing evenly. Um, so you just want to make sure you're set up to get the most accurate reading. And especially when you're learning how to do the weight, you want to do it a couple times. Make sure you're getting consistent answers so that you can give your horse um, what he needs the most.